Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Wachowski from ForexLive.com. Today's date is March 22nd, 2024. This is a Kickstarter video where I like to take a three of the major currency pairs, the Euro versus US dollar, the dollar versus the the sterling versus US dollar. So let's get started. It is also Friday, and on Friday I like to take a look at a little bit uh, back at what we did this week and forward or what we might uh, look for in trading next week. And uh, starting off by taking a look at the Euro, Euro versus US dollar, we had a volatile a week uh, in this uh, currency pair initially that we saw the price uh, move down. We found uh, support buyers against the 200 day moving average. Also, the 50% retracement of this move up from this low to this high right through here. That was good news for the uh, buyers, and the price uh, did move higher here and then higher here. Uh, this uh, move to the upside was off the FOMC rate decision where the price uh, 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 surged to the upside after the Federal Reserve said they would keep three cuts in play. Uh, we moved above uh, moving averages, but we did find resistance sellers against this uh, trend line right here, or near it, I should say. Uh, the uh, price uh, did move a little bit above, but then failed to start its rotation back to the downside uh, in trading yesterday, breaking back below the 200-hour uh, 200, uh, 200 hour moving average uh, right through here, and then breaking below the 100-hour moving average right through here, and ultimately found uh, uh, buyers and sellers near the 100 day moving average, just a blue line right here and trading here today. The price moved marginally to the upside, uh, extending above that uh, 100, the higher 100 day moving average, and also above this swing area near the 1.08656 uh, level before uh, starting its run to the downside, down, down, down. That move to the downside was able to get below this uh, 200 day moving average, 50% retracement level right through here, and that we saw increased momentum to, to in the downward direction. Uh, the uh, price is uh, finding uh, some support buying against the 61.8% retracement. That comes in at 0 0.08036. Also just below that level is this uh, swing level where we had uh, different uh, swing lows here and here and here and here. That comes in uh, near the 1.0795. So around the 1.08 level is that going to be a key support level and we did find early buyers against that those levels the 61.8 the 70 the 95 level and we don't have seen a little rotation back to the upside but what is key today and going forward into the new trading week is going to be this uh, 200 day moving average and 50 percent retracement level again of this move to the upside from the uh, february low to the february high both those levels come in at 1.08374 as long as the price can remain Below that level, the bias remains to the downside, and we can uh, hope or think that we might get below the 108 level and continue to run to the downside. Alternatively, if we do move back above the 50%, back above the 200-day moving average, uh, moving back up toward the 100-day moving averages, the likely uh, scenario, the 100-hour moving average is starting to move down toward those levels here as well after a brief move to the upside here, now moving back to the downside. So you can expect some uh, resistance against uh, those levels on a move uh, move higher and through the through those two moving averages and then up to the 100 day moving average and we'll see from there let's uh, take a look at the dollar versus yen next and we're going to start off by taking a look at the daily chart uh, why because uh, you see these highs right here this is a 2022 high uh, this uh, this is a 2023 high and this is our 2024 high all those levels come within 10 pips of each other this was at uh, around 95, this is around 91, and, and today's high came in at 85 for the uh, dollar versus yen, trading to the highest level for the year, and trading here today before the market started to rotate back to the downside. So that uh, that triple high right there, by the way, is the highest level in over three decades, 1990. You have to go back to the last time the dollar yen traded this high. And that all came after the Bank of Japan this week actually raised rates for the first time in 17 years. You would think that would strengthen the strength in the yen, but instead it weakened the yen uh, as the focus turned to, you know, the dollar and uh, also a short squeeze to the upside in this uh, pair to, after the uh, initial move to the down, downside, brief move to the downside off of the rate decision. Uh, so, um, but uh, we do have this uh, resistance up here at the 151, uh, uh, you know, up to, uh, 151.95, uh, and uh, so far it's holding on the downside. Watch the 150.88 level. That level uh, corresponds with this little ce ce ceiling uh, through here on the daily chart, uh, going back to our old highs uh, from the month of February through here, and uh, we, we uh, uh, broke above those levels in trading, trading here this week. We did have a brief move to the downside on the uh, selling pressure in trading on Thursday, but uh, back above it, and, and uh, we are coming down 
Uh, well, making our way down toward that 150.88 level on the daily chart. If we break below that level, that would uh, uh, probably uh, turn buyers to sellers, at least in the short term. You can see that on the hourly chart as well. Here, this is all those levels through here near the 88 level. Uh, they actually go down to 150.72. So 72 to 88 is going to be the level that we have to get to and through. Also, you can see in, within that yellow area is this uh, blue line, which represents the 100 hour moving average. So all these highs through here, here. Here, 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 here. If we're moving to the downside, and then uh, these uh, these levels right through here, where the market uh, traded above and below level before moving higher. So get below those levels and stay below those levels increases the bearish bias. By the way, the 38.2% retracement of this move to the upside is also in that area, 150.73. So um, get uh, you know get below it, and uh, we should because you should see buyers turn to sellers in the dollar versus yen today and going forward. Finally, let's take a look at the uh, sterling versus U.S. dollar. And if I uh, take a look at the four-hour chart in this uh, currency pair and uh, put our red box around our uh, level uh, between the 125.93 ish type level up to 128, uh, the uh, price uh, high this week uh, came up and tested tested the uh, high of that uh, swing area, found willing sellers against it, and uh, forced its way back to the downside, breaking below the 100, breaking below the 200, and trading here today, the 200 bar moving average should hold resistance and the price moved lower. We fell below the 100-day moving average here, 126.299, saw increased selling, came down to the low of the swing area, and uh, traded below uh, both the 200-day moving average and the low of the swing area, 125.93. Uh, the uh, low price uh, for the day, um, well, I don't know where it came in, but you can see it came in below that level since then, uh, or, or over the last uh, few minutes early trading in the, the New York session, we have been able to extend back above this uh, area right here, currently trading at 1.2612 or 1.3, which is right near the high of this uh, swing area through here, down near the low of this uh, this uh, bottom swing area here uh, at the lower of the uh, this bo red box right here. So we do need to get, if we get above that level at 126 to 13, 13 uh, we're going to still run into the 100-day moving average, and that's going to be a key barometer as well, not only today but going forward at 1.26299. So be aware for potential sellers against that level. If we are able to hold hold right here at the uh, 13 level and rotate back to below 125.93 level, uh, we uh, should see more uh, sellers increase as we head back down, head down toward the low price of 4 the, the year which uh, came in at 125.17. So there you have it, a, a, a pretty detailed look at the three of the major currency pairs in the Kickstarter video, which again takes a look not only at today, but going forward. My name is Greg McCloskey. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.